Greetings, welcome back to Black Bear News. Please remember to like this video and make sure you are still subscribed. I want to bring you this story in this video <clears throat> that uh, I was trying to cover for a while. It's from October 25th. That's not that long ago, but you know, Finn in the queue. There's so many in the queue. Glacial rivers absorb carbon faster than rainforest scientists find. Total surprise. Discovery overturns conventional understanding of rivers. This is interesting news. What does this mean? We don't know. In the turbid, frigid waters roaring from the glaciers of Canada's high Arctic, or what does it mean for the future of climate change? I have no idea. Research have, research, uh, researchers have made a surprising discovery. For decades, the northern rivers secretly pulled carbon dioxide from the atmosphere at a rate faster than the Amazon rainforest. I guess that's good news. The findings published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences flip the conventional understandings of rivers, which are largely viewed as sources of carbon emissions. It was a total surprise, said Dr. Kyra St. Pierre, a biologist at the University of British Columbia and lead researcher on the project. Given what we know about the rivers, though, the findings are intuitive when you think about it, but we were initially very surprised to see what we did. The discovery came from time spent collecting meltwater samples on Ellesmere Island in Canada's Nanavut territory where several glaciers flow into Lake Hazen. <clears throat> the team of researchers also gathered samples in the Rocky Mountains in Greenland. We have a pretty good understanding of the state of glaciers globally, said St. Pierre. One thing we don't know much about is the meltwaters and what happens when it flows into rivers and downstream lakes. In temperate rivers, a bounty of organic material, plant life, and fish results in higher levels of decomposition, meaning the bodies of water emit a far greater amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than they absorb. But glacial rivers, with their milky appearance and silt-laden composition, are not very hospitable to aquatic life, leading to far less organic decay and little carbon output. At the same time, the fine sediment scraped from glaciers, including silicate and carbonate, when tossed along in the rushing waters begins the geological process known as chemical weathering. <clears throat> as the rivers take up the particles, they start to mix within the water, and within the water there are also gases, including carbon dioxide, said St. Pierre. The mixing together creates these reactions and puts all these different particles together. That's where we see that the net result is the sink of carbon dioxide. The research team discovered the effect of chemical weathering as in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere extended as far away as 26 miles from the headwaters of the river. <clears throat> this means that during high melt periods, glacial river water will absorb 40 times as much carbon as the Amazon rainforest. During high melt periods. <clears throat> well, so I guess that's good. If glaciers are melting, <laughs> they'll absorb carbon for a while, right? On a per meter squared basis, these rivers can consume a phenomenal amount phenomenal amount of carbon dioxide since St. Pierre, but their limited size means on a gross scale, they pull in far less than the sprawling Amazon. Uh, the team plan on sampling meltwaters. So wait, on a square per square, per meter squared basis, these rivers can consume a phenomenal amount of carbon dioxide, but their limited size means on a gross scale, they pull in far less than the sprawling Amazon. So it's a weird kind of misleading headline there <clears throat> faster than rainforest but not as much as rainforest because there's not as much of them the meltwaters um this is <laughs> anyways i guess this is good we're gonna we're gonna leave this as this is a positive for now um you know a possible uh negative feedback on some level for a little while Thank you so much for your eyes, your ears, and your conscience. If you would like to support this channel, you can do so at the links below. Until next time, peace.